So if you want to embed maybe a PDF for people to download, then there is an option and a way of doing this, and you can use the scribed um, software. Uh, now, in order to do that, of course, it needs to go onto the a PDF needs to go onto the scribed database. Um, so you may or may not feel that that's useful, but um, just so you can see, like everything else, what you have to do, just drag in the scribed box to where you want it to go. And here you can see, um, you can change the size of the box uh, and then just upload the file. You upload the file and then it will present in that box and you can download using clicking the PDF to download. Uh, it presents in the page, but also, as I say, people can download a PDF of that document by clicking on download PDF. Um, now, there is another way of getting around this. You could put an image, as I've just put in there, and separating it through the spacer. And if you put the image in and then put a link on that image to um, maybe a Google document, which was shared view only, then had it open the link in a new tab, what would happen is when you clicked on the image, it would open the Google document in, an, in another in a new tab and they'd see the PDF. And if you give them the option to download, they could download that option from your Google Drive. So you can get around that by just having uh, open a new tab, clicking on an image that maybe says download here, uh, or even a um, a picture image of the document they click on and it takes them to the actual document to view that's on Google Drive. Make sure to select on Google Drive that it's not editable and that you're happy for people that click the link to see it and then choose whether or not you want them to download that as a PDF. Um, so that's another way around it. So that may uh, that may help you. And um, And that is how to get a PDF or any other document embedded on your site to be downloaded.